tap to I edit. I MT2. First use. Unboxing and product list. Open the package and check the product list. In this tutorial, we will use the kit version as an example. Charging and reverse charging. Please fully charge iSteady MT2 before using it for the first time. Press the power button once. The OLED screen shows the battery level. It is recommended to use a 5 volt 2 amp charger to connect the provided Type A Type C charging cable to charge iSteady MT2. iSteady MT2 supports reverse charging, allowing you to charge camera, mobile phone, and other devices through the Type C power output port located on the tilt motor side. It also supports simultaneous charging while in usage. Preparation. Attach the tripod to the bottom of the iSteady MT2. iSteady MT2 has three motor lock switches, including pan axis motor lock switch, roll axis motor lock switch, tilt axis motor lock switch. Before mounting a camera, Please unfold the three arms and toggle the three motor lock switches to lock the three axes. Mounting and balancing a camera. Quick release plate and L bracket. Mount the camera onto the camera quick release plate. And tighten the screw. Loosen the L bracket with the thumb screw wrench, which is magnetically attached on the L bracket. Attach the camera with the quick release plate onto the L bracket. Tighten the quick release plate latch. Align one side of the L bracket against the handle side of the camera. Taking into account the camera's width, then tighten the screw on the bottom firmly. The mounting base of iSteady MT2 features a latch and a safety lock. Use the latch to securely fasten the out bracket. Safety lock prevents the camera from falling off. Unlock the mount latch. Insert the camera assembly, including the quick release plate and L bracket, into the mount by sliding it along the slot and lock the mount latch by sliding it along the slot and lock the mount latch camera vertical video mode loosen the mount latch rotate the camera with L bracket 90 degrees to switch the vertical shooting mode insert the L bracket into the mount slot and lock the mount latch the L bracket supports two vertical installation options you can install it in two orientations, based on your specific requirement. Insert it into the mount base in a vertical video mode position. Tighten the mount latch securely. Method 1. You can use the flip-out screen to view the composition while using a camera like Sony ZV-E10. Method 2. When in vertical shoot mode, you can attach accessories to the hot shoe facing outward while using a camera like Sony A7R4. Please adjust your camera lens to the desired focal length before balancing. Tilt axis balancing. Vertical balancing of the tilt axis. Unlock the tilt axis. Rotate the tilt arm to make the camera lens point upward. Check the center of gravity. Loosen the vertical tilt lock. Move the camera forward and back until it can remain still and maintain a vertical balance with the ground. Once achieved, tighten the vertical tilt lock. Rotate the tilt arm to make the camera lens point forward. Check the center of gravity. Unlock the quick release plate latch. Move the camera assembly forward or backward until it comes to a stable and motionless position, aligning it parallel to the ground. Once achieved, lock the quick release plate latch. Roll axis balancing. 
Unlock the row axis motor lock switch. Unlock the row axis arm latch. Move the row axis arm left and right until the camera remains relatively still. Lock the row axis arm latch. Pan axis balancing. Unlock the pan motor lock switch. Hold and tilt the handle slightly. Check to make sure the camera is not left or right heavy. Unlock the pan axis arm latch. Move the pan arm along with the camera and the upper part of iSteady MT2 until the pan arm is approximately balanced. Then lock the pan axis arm latch. Mounting and balancing a mobile phone. Phone quick release plate and L bracket. Mount the mobile phone on the phone quick release plate in the middle. Then attach them on the L bracket. Unlock the mount latch. Insert the phone assembly, including the quick release plate and L bracket. Insert the L bracket into the mount slot and lock the mount latch. Vertical video mode. Loosen the mount latch. Remove the phone and quick release plate as a whole while holding down the mount safety lock. Rotate the phone with L bracket 90 degrees to switch the vertical shooting mode. Insert the L bracket into the mount slot and lock the mount latch. Mobile phone balancing. Follow the same balancing steps as mirrorless camera. Please refer to the balancing instructions for mirrorless camera. Mounting and balancing an action camera. Some action cameras have a standard expansion port at the bottom for installation of an Arca Switch quick release plate. In the case of the GoPro Hero 11, you will need to use an adapter to install the Arca Switch quick release plate. Adapter and L bracket. Attach the action camera assembly onto the L bracket. Unlock the mount latch. Insert the action camera assembly including the quick release plate and L bracket into the mount by sliding it along the groove and lock the mount latch. Vertical video mode. Loosen the mount latch. Remove the action camera and quick release plate as a whole while holding down the mount safety lock. Rotate the action camera with L bracket 90 degrees to switch to the vertical shooting mode. Insert the L bracket into the mount slot and lock the mount latch. Action camera balancing. Follow the same balancing steps as mirrorless camera. Please refer to the balancing instructions for mirrorless camera. Camera control and Bluetooth connection. Press and hold the power button to power on the gimbal. Camera cable control. Choose the corresponding control cable. Here we take Sony A7R4 as an example. The Type-C to multi-cable is suitable for Sony cameras. Connect to the Type-C end of the cable to the Type-C camera control port on iSteady MT2. Then you can control the camera shutter by using the shutter button on iSteady MT2. Pairing and clearing Bluetooth.